What amazing lives these two have had on their way to finding each other. What an amazing life these two will have together. Isla, thank you for being so special and for being such an important part of our lives. I promise to always be there for you, to take care of you and to make time to have fun and adventures and to always love you. Together, we will create a beautiful life together. Um, Mike said, would you uh, like to do this for me? And I said, great. Um, that's what he said to me. What I actually heard was, would you like to stand up with no pants on? And that's how it's kind of panned out. <laughs> if I slow it down a little bit, I'd say that she's honest, loyal, caring, loving, happy, participatory, willing to learn, well-traveled, doesn't like debts, which is handy for me, <laughs> likes to be independent, and is patient and interested in family. These are all traits of a person you would love to have as a wife or a friend. Mike, well, he talks funny. Um, I've had to ask him a few times, what was that? Um, uh, but his English is a lot better than mine and he helps me solve uh, cryptic crosswords, which is pretty handy. What an amazing mum you are. Um, I uh, so worship the ground you walk on. Um, you've taught her so much um, in the time that you've known each other. Um, can you do me a favour? Can you go give Becca a hug? Go, run. Steady, go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm watching you two guys together is, is literally my favourite thing in the world. It's, it just uh, melts my heart. Mikey met Bex, right? And so Mikey's a humble guy and he doesn't talk much. <laughs> you see him scratching his chin? So he doesn't flinch at all. But what I heard about this date was this woman's amazing. This woman's family this woman's career, this woman's aspirations. For me, Mikey's always been Mikey. And I talk to him and then suddenly he's Mike. He's, he's suddenly grown up and he's really sensible now. And now, now he's not Mikey, he's Mike. So Mike brought Bex to New Zealand <laughs> and uh, we decided we'd go down to the mountain and we'd go skiing. So, um, <laughs> and uh, Mike brings Beck in to the house and we, we meet Beck and, um, and we give Bex this big hug. And uh, as I'm giving Beck a hug, behind Beck is Mike. Now, Mike is as proud and excited <laughs> as you can ever imagine a boy who's done his first poo in a Superman suit, <laughs> ever. <laughs> He's standing there with his eyes wide. He can hardly breathe. He's trying to tell me something and I don't know what it is. He doesn't know whether to stand still or dance. His hands are clenched and he's sweating a bit. And he's extremely proud of Bex.